Hey, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the new version of the Nightcore Easy AA. This is the Nightcore Easy AA, and it's the XPG R5 version. Let's go ahead and open up the packaging, show you what you have on the inside. You have a lanyard, uh, standard accessories like spare o rings, uh, warranty information, instruction manual, and then of course the light itself. Let's go ahead and pull that out, and we'll show you how this thing operates. So it operates off one AA battery, so we're going to go ahead and stick a San Yuena loop in there. I'll show you how this thing goes through its different modes. So it's a twisty, there's no push button on the end, so you do everything by twisting the head. Uh, what you do is, when you first tighten it, it's going to turn on. And then if you want to actually change the brightness, because you can change the brightness on this thing, just turn it off and on real quickly, and you'll see it start to ramp through the different brightnesses. And uh, what it's going to do is going to flash when it's all the way up, and it's going to start over, and uh, just keep on going through all the different brightnesses. Now, when you see the one that you want, say we want to get this one right here, just turn it off and on, and it's set to that. And it'll be set to that until you go through the brightness changing again, so the off and on really quickly when it's already on, and you can do the brightness changing again. But if you don't do that, if I set it to that, it's going to be on that every time I turn it on. So let's open it up, show you the inside of it. See the inside of the head and down in the battery tube in there. Put it back together. Show you some more up close parts of it. See it has some nice knurling on it, nice grippy knurling. There's the uh, inside of the reflector and the LED. There's the tail of it. And we're going to go ahead and take this little guy outside, and we'll show you how the Easy AA, the new version of it, does outside. Alright, so we've got the Easy AA R5, and then we're going to be comparing it to the standard 4D mag light that I always use. So let's try that mag light out first and see how it does. Here's a little bush about 15 feet away, a tree that's 100 feet away. As normal, you can see what's going on in the center of that hot spot. This is as tightly focused as it gets, uh, but not much more around that. There's my dog wandering into the picture. Hey, thanks for uh, making an appearance, Argo. So let's go ahead and try that uh, that uh, easy double A and see how it does. So you can see, really great beam on that. Uh, it it easily lights up more than that much much larger light, and uh, it does it really well with a really nice beam. It looks pretty good out there. So there's your little bush, 15 feet away, tree that's 100 feet away. I can see all that stuff really clearly. So let's go ahead and. Let it ramp through the different brightnesses. You can kind of see the difference between them all. Let it go through that a couple times just so you can see it. I'll just trap it back on max. That's it on max again. So that's it for the Easy AA. If you have any questions, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like flashlight videos, be sure to subscribe. We have over 100 now, and uh, every time we get a new light, we'll make a new video for it. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you like the light, you can get it from us at goinggear.com.